Well, here is our completed uh, remodeled baby's room. We thought it would take a few months, but it only took five days working every day. And a quick review of what we did is we painted all the walls. Uh, we painted on this, that bright blue color. We painted the ceiling white. Uh, my wife did the zigzag chevron pattern on the wall. Uh, we painted the trim white and the doors and the closet. We painted the closet doors white to kind of freshen it up. It was originally a dark brown. We replaced uh, the electric outlets and the switch on the wall with new ones that are really cheap. You know, it's only 50 cents for a new electric outlet, so that's a really nice touch. We put new baseboard in, um, and then we brought in the furniture. We assembled the crib. We got a new uh, area rug in the center, um, and we put up a new curtain rod and new curtains. <clears throat> so it didn't cost a whole lot. It wasn't that much work, it was a, a week project. Um, so here's all the details we did and here's what the room looked like when we started and everything we did to finish this room the way it looks right now. So the thing that I'm working on now is pulling up the uh, edging. Um, pulling that up, we're gonna, we have new baseboard we're gonna put up. Uh, now, real quick, the best way that I found to get trim off is you need um, a hammer, two screwdrivers, and a crowbar. And you just have to start the first screwdriver in, work the next one. And then you can just slowly start prying back. When you get enough room, you can fit the crowbar in there. Here's the wood doors I took off the closet. They have kind of a plasticky finish, they're hollow core. Just painting them white and then it'll probably take two coats. Well, as the doors are drying, uh, in the basement, I'm going to start painting the trim. I already did the trim around this door and the shelf in there. <clears throat> well, we're ready to start the uh, painting on the walls, and we're going to do uh, prime that wall white because we're going to do a zigzag pattern uh, separated into six boxes. I'll show you, I already drew it out on. Uh, AutoCAD and Google SketchUp and um, we're going to make a template that's going to be 24 by 18 I believe and we'll paint a zigzag design in gray and white so first thing we're going to do is paint the entire wall white. Alright so we have our wall painted white and that's going to be the base color of the chevrons, the zigzag pattern. Um, we're going to paint gray stripes. Now we've watched a bunch of videos and there's some people that measure each box, draw each line. And then we saw one video where uh, the lady just made a pattern. She uh, determined how big the boxes would be. You make a cardboard pattern and just trace it all the way down and it looked quick and easy. So that's what we're going to do. We measured the height of seven and a half feet and we measured the width of 12 feet, two inches. Uh, we're going to divide those by six. We'll get uh, our box size cut out a piece of cardboard and trace it as we go down. We have an uh, old standard bubble level. I have a laser level that will spin around. And I also have this which uh, will give us a horizontal and vertical line just to make checks at either end. So as we're tracing our uh, boxes along the wall we don't droop or dip. Okay, we have our pattern. It's this piece of cardboard and once again how we got it, our ceiling 
the floor is 7 feet 6 inches. You divide by 6 and you get 15 and that's what we cut this side. Um, our wall length is 12 feet 2 inches. You divide by 6 you get 2 feet and one third of an inch. So this is basically 24 and a third, a third of an inch. So that's our pattern. We're going to put it up in the corner like this. We're going to take a piece of chalk and trace around it. Then we'll go down, do that, and keep going all the way down, making a grid. It's just an easier way um, instead of measuring every single time. And we use the level to make sure we're vertical and horizontal, but um, this is just a quick, easy way uh, to make sure everything's lined up square. Well, it took a little longer than expected, but the wall is finally marked and taped off. Um, what we first used, like I talked about earlier, was this template. Um, it wasn't super accurate because the chalk we were using, uh, I could only find that thick uh, sidewalk chalk and it wasn't really accurate. So we ended up uh, using the template at first and then we used a laser level and a hand level to make sure our lines were even the whole way across. Um, we then marked it with a pencil just to get more accurate line and then we taped it off marking gray white gray white just like the pattern um, so I'm ready to wash off the chalk now and then we'll be ready to paint uh, another thing I forgot to mention is that we did um, end up using two rulers to make sure our line was straight with the pencil um, just to get in and make sure everything was lined up point to point and the tape we're using is not uh, just regular masking tape because sometimes the paint can bleed through that edge. So we're using the frog tape, which is uh, supposed to, it's, it's like seven bucks, but it's supposed to give you a nice, uh, crisp, clean edge when after you paint over it and tear it off. I wiped off all the chalk and I just thought of a couple other things. First is, when you're drawing the grid, you don't actually have to draw the entire line all the way around the grid. Um, you just have to really draw a cross or a T at your intersection point because that's where you're going to be connecting your lines to. You don't need this entire line. You just need this point and this point. So you can just make, uh, when you're doing your box, just make a little T, T. You don't actually have to draw the entire line. You can if you want. We did for a couple, uh, but it's just more wiping off when you're done. The other thing is, um, the outlet covers and the cold air returns. Luckily, this one's going to be completely gray because it ended up entirely in a triangle. Um, one of the outlet covers is going to be completely white. Uh, one of them we actually had to cross right through, so we left it on the wall <clears throat> and it's going to be half gray and half white. So we were thinking about making them all white to keep them consistent, but uh, we're just going to match the wall as it, as it is.
So here's the bedroom. Uh, we're pretty much done. The only thing we might add is some uh, pictures and maybe a mirror and some we might do some wall decals on this side or that side, but we have the chevrons. There was a lot of touch-up. We uh, brought in all the furniture. We got the rugs, so I'll try to take some pictures and show you every corner of the room, what it looks like. Um, but yeah, we still have a few more months and we'll do some little decorating, but this is it.